Hello friends, I am Mike Zivrak. Welcome back to the Mothership. Just a quick showing of this custom. This is an Anguilesh bounty hunter. His name is Yucca Mill. We can thank uh, Gilster37 for the uh, brain birth of <clears throat> this uh, character along with uh, a couple of other characters, uh, Bisbo Zinc uh, and a couple of other uh, bounty hunters. Uh, that now need their own uh, figures. But uh, this guy specifically, Yucca Mill, obviously he's an English. English? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, but he is kind of like, um, you know, this guy, his heyday is uh, definitely maybe like, I guess, Clone Wars, uh, you know, up until Star Wars 77. But look, this guy, see, he's like the... John Wesley Harden. That's who this is, guys, mo modeled after. If you're not aware of John Wesley Harden, the uh, famous American uh, gunfighter, one of the famous American gunfighters, how many countries have giant lists of American gunfighters besides America? Suck on that. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> one of John Wesley Harden's biggest gimmicks, which I don't mean that in a gimmicky way, but one of his biggest things that he thought was an advantage is that his firearms... Uh, the holsters in which he carried them weren't on belts, you know, like John Wayne or like Reese has a chest rig here, you know, or uh, Star Wars Bear has a holster there over his non-existing underwear. Uh, Bisbo Zinc has a cross draw. Is that seeable? Seeable? Oh, that's a fucking word. But anyway, Yucca Mill, like I said, he is modeled after... Whoa, focus, focus. Yucca Mill is modeled after the uh, John Wesley Harden. So he is carrying multiple firearms. One, two, one. He's also ambidext ambidextrous. So he has a holster sewn into his vest there. A holster sewn into his vest on the inside. A holster on the outside of his vest here. He has a holster sewn into his gaiters. Whoa, that is gaiters, not gaitors. Uh, this guy also has, uh, well, I just said that. He has uh, custom made gaiters and vest made out of uh, insert Star Wars nasty ass fucking beast here. Uh, and of course, he is Yucca Mill. This needs some trimming. I just seen that. Uh, it, which is okay, because see, this is not completely glued down. Because I wanted to see what it looked like. Hold on. One-handed. See, this is not totally glued down. So I'll move that straight and clip this little thing off. But this is Yucca Mill. And he is part of the Bounty Hunter team Murder, Inc., and his protege is the infamous Bisbo Zinc, the Weequa slave who at age 13, that's in human years, uh, killed his master and ran away uh, to then become the protege of Yucca Mill. Uh, <clears throat> one of the baddest bounty hunters uh, in the Star Wars galaxy. So yeah, Yucca Mill, Murder, Inc. With lots of guns, cool vest, uh, half chaps or gators. Uh, Rolando, the Space Bandito or Space Vaquero can tell us what they call these in, um, his people's language, I guess. Uh, I don't think they're called chinks. And don't get all upset because I said that. Uh, there's a thing, there's different types of chaps. There's shotgun chaps, batwing chaps, half chaps, and then another chaps that are called chinks. And it's like a chink in armor or chinking in a log cabin. So don't get all fucking mad, okay? Oddly enough, uh, we build a lot of log cabins in Alaska, and uh, the stuff that you put in between the two
two logs that are round, if you're using round log, is called chinking. Usually, traditionally, my people used uh, uh, what we call duff, not the beer, but it's uh, like a carpet that grows on the land. Some people use rope dipped in wax. But yeah, half chaps with a bit of fringe, lunatic fringe. Yucca Mill. Uh, check this out. We also got this. This is a uh, Thai Army Special Forces um, insignia, is what this is. Also, it is uh, on my Washington Artillery Kepi that I, I just pulled this off my head. I, I wear this because I'm crazy. But yeah, so bounty hunters. We're making lots of bounty hunters. We're making lots of holsters. Uh, holsters. 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 Um, and lots of more people to make holsters. You may or may not have checked out episode four of the um, Melu Run Mail Run brought to you by Hey Kelly Auctions. Check that out. That just dropped a few hours before this. He sent us this custom laxiv rack by we don't know who made that. But he found it and he sent it to us. There's a Battle of Hoth laxiv rack waiting on an arm. There's a uh, stock factory laxiv rack uh, with a cool ass gun riding his cool ass shit. There is Imperial, um, Imperial Scout laxiv rack. And behind Imperial Scout Black Sivrak is a Rhodian Rebel Pilot. You know, who's who's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know how I feel about Ro I don't know how I feel about Rhodian Rebel Rebel Pilot. If you have any thoughts on Rhodian Rebel Pilot or any of these customs, bad, good, or indifferent, um, I only have one feeling left and he doesn't get hurt. So constructive criticism is fucking totally okay here. Uh, I don't know where this hand went. I'm literally waiting around. I've been doing a lot of shit. I literally do not know where this fucking hand is. I'm waiting for it to show up. I'm waiting for it to show up. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. We do have, we do have, for the record, we do have a few lacks here. Do, 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 do. But one is Gilsters and one is Super John, Super Awesome Geek John. So two of those are not mine. Under that weak way, there's a Watto that's going to uh, Mark, Harvest Mark. So if you're selling any Lax Sivrax, or if you want to send any Lax Sivrax, or you want to, whatever, whatever. If you have a Lax Sivrax you don't need, I will buy it, or trade, or whatever. I need more Lax Sivrax. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're still working on the laser. The main point of this video, actually, was supposed to be this motherfucker. Yucca Mill. Pardon me, that was awful. Yucca Mill. Murder, Inc. More to come. Who knows? General Laksevrak of the Toklat Mercenary Group. Out.